So Samsung DeX is probably one of the coolest features that's available on most Samsung devices. Now DeX brings your tablet or your phone over to a bigger screen, but not just mirroring your device, guys. It actually launches an engine that allows you to independently interact with applications, display applications, and use applications on a larger monitor. So in this video, we're gonna do a quick run through of DeX. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So if you're new to the channel, I do everything tech from your streamer reviews, streaming news, product reviews, unboxings, and everything in between. Hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash the notification bell. Make sure you select all on notification. That way you won't miss a video or a giveaway. So first things first, DeX is not available on all Samsung devices. If you're owning your device, more than likely it will be a feature, but I'll leave a list so you guys can go ahead and check and see if your device is compatible. So before we jump into it, there are three basic ways to use Samsung DeX. The first option is gonna be wireless. So if you guys own a compatible television, all you need to do is power the TV on, launch Samsung DeX on your phone, and it should hopefully find the TV on your phone. Now, while you connect it to it, you can run your application. It does have an on-screen touchpad where you can go ahead, navigate. It does have pinch and zoom capabilities. And also, if you go to an area where you need to type, it will pop up the keyboard on your phone just to make the experience seamless. So that's the first option. The second option is connecting via HDMI to your television. Now for this, there's a couple ways to do it. If you have a USB to HDMI, you should be be able to connect directly power your television or your monitor and it should automatically connect to dex here's a look at what one of those cables might look like if you don't already have one you can also opt for hdmi to usb c adapter i'll go ahead and leave links to some of those cables and adapters in the description if you guys want to go ahead and pick it up another way to connect your dex to your devices is via the deck station. And this is one that I've had for a couple years now and it still works, guys. If you look at it right here, in the middle it has a USB-C, so this is where your phone is gonna sit. Uh, just plug it in there. But a deck station unlocks a lot more options than you would have if you're connected wireless or via a direct HDMI. So if you look right here on the deck station, guys, you can see you have an ethernet port, which I'm a big fan of. Also have multiple USB ports. That way you can plug in your keyboard, your mouse, your USB drive, hard drive, whatever you need or whatever you need to work on, you can plug it in. Uh, you can launch whatever app you're using to modify, maybe using Microsoft Word or PowerPoint or something like that. And that makes the experience a lot better. So that's probably one of my favorite ways to connect to DeX. However, that does require some additional purchasing, especially for the DeX station. And they have a lot of different models here, guys. Uh, I'll go ahead and leave a couple of those in the description as well. All it is is just a platform that converts that USB-C to HDMI does have the ethernet and usb ports as well so like i said i'll link a couple of those in the description as well now for anyone who's on the road maybe with a, a laptop or you have your pc at home you just want to be able to connect to your phone you can install the dex application on your computer plug in your phone and you have full interaction so i'm going to go ahead and connect it to my computer and then i'm going to show you some of the features and a quick walk around samsung dex all right so let's go ahead and plug it in pop up on the phone asking me to start desk now. And once you click start, it should go ahead and show here on my actual computer. So with this, it might launch in full screen, it might not, but if you just hover to the top, you can go ahead and either make it smaller or make it full screen, whatever you're trying to do, there's a lot of flexibility there as you can see. So you have your settings right here and you'll have a, a couple quick settings, guys. You have your auto start settings, notification, prevent the screen from powering off, use alt and tab for Windows apps. So this gives you an option to switch between the Windows and Dex app, which is a pretty cool feature, I guess. Let me go ahead and just make it full screen for now. So by default, these apps will be uh, present on your desktop. I went ahead and installed Word and PowerPoint, but you can see we have my files, Google, internet, you have the Play Store, your gallery, Google apps, as well as your settings. Now below that, this is gonna bring you into all your applications. So you can kind of scroll through and kind of see everything that you have installed. Now we're gonna get into Dex Labs in a little bit, but to get out of here, just click escape and it should bring you back to your home screen. Now the next one is gonna be your recent applications. You can see everything that I have running in the background and I can go ahead and just close it and that should pretty much get rid of them. 
Now this is going to bring you home. This is going to bring you back. Now you do also have the option to hide this and I'll show you once we get into the Dex application. So next we have our keyboard. So that actually brought up the keyboard on my phone. So pretty cool. Get rid of it. Do have your volume controls. You can't control different areas of your device, but also if you press it on your phone, you do still have the same options that will pop up on your screen below that you can change your audio output so right now it's set to play the audio from the pc but you can go ahead and change it to your phone so all dependent on your preference all right you do have a screenshot option all right not sure how that's going to be helpful you have your notifications right here let's go ahead and clear those and this is going to bring you to your basic settings guys so all the the standard stuff that you'll have in your android application will be right here you also have the option to get to your settings from this menu so let's go ahead and we'll take a look at dex labs so dex lab is a way to get to your settings guys uh, within samsung dex so if you click back there you get to set your screen timeout your font size your screen zoom your wallpaper you can see full hd isn't an option there you can auto hide your taskbar so if you turn that on you can go ahead and slide it off you can see the taskbar disappeared I'll go ahead and slide it back on you have your keyboard all right so right now it's set to put the keyboard on your phone but you can go ahead and change that so if you click on that you can put it on the monitor so right now if we click on keyboard it should pop up on your monitor so they also have tutorials on how to use samsung dex about samsung dex but if you get into dex lab this is where you're going to get some of those experimental features guys so force apps to resize so attempt to resize apps that aren't officially supported by samsung dex so, and i'll show you what that looks like here in a little bit let me go ahead and turn it off and also auto open last application so here's one of the apps that might benefit from the force resize so you can see by default the app is in the portrait mode and you can't really stretch it out to make it look better you can't go full screen and if you try to it will tell you hey go to dex labs and try to resize it so if we go back in here and go ahead and turn that on it's going to ask you to restart the application and i can see the the app is in full screen you have more flexibility in my opinion and just just the overall good feature i'm not sure why this is still in in testing or whatever they call it because this has been a thing for a long time i believe but nice feature to have so of course you can use your standard applications if you have your word you can go ahead and uh, launch word you have your powerpoint if you're doing some some mid-level gaming you have a youtube app you can see that that looks pretty cool as well Go ahead and close that out you have a youtube works with no issues of course you have your your internet browser there where you know i gotta check that out that story right there but internet browser is going to come up like that you can go ahead and, and resize it all right so you can open up multiple applications run multiple applications but no issues so another cool feature of using the desktop mode is that you can go to your files and you can actually drag and drop to and from your Samsung device. And this might come in handy if you want to transfer APKs or something like that, guys. So if I go to my files, I'm going to go to my documents here. Let's just go to PDFs. And you can see I have two PDFs right there. All I have to do is do a long press to select it, grab it, drag and hold. You can see that's now on my desktop. It is a full, fully functional PDF. I love that feature. Like I said, this is something if you wanted to drag stuff back and forth, that option is there. I'm not sure if Firefox is probably the right option, but um, you guys get the idea. So that's it for this video. Let me know what you think of the Samsung DeX interface. Like I said, there are three or four ways to connect. You can connect wireless via HDMI to USB-C connector. You can also use the DeX station. And last but not least, you can use the PC or Mac just to have your phone there. That way you don't have to have it in your hand with you. That's the way I use it mostly. Just have it on one screen. I have my work on another one and I'm doing something on another one. And that way I can multitask between my phone and my computer. If you guys have any questions about this, drop it in the comment section below. I will be leaving a couple links in the description if you guys want to go purchase either the cables or the adapters or even the deck station. Drop your questions in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm <laughs> sorry.
So if you're new to the channel, I do everything tech from your streaming reviews, streaming news, product reviews, unboxings, and everything in between. Hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash the notification bell, make sure you select all on notification. That way you won't miss a video or a giveaway.